Welcome to EPAC All Access here on site at Musselman High School next to Waldeck Field at Denny Price Stadium. Spencer Dupuy, Colin McLaughlin, Nick Verzellini, happy to have you with us as we uh, do our first EPAC All Access and uh, we'll get ready for the start of the season here in the EPAC. We're starting first with the Musselman Appleman. You'll hear from Brian Thomas, Baden Hartman, and Ray Adamas later in this episode. We'll also have a mic'd up segment with Coach Thomas that uh, seemed to go pretty well. Uh, but uh, guys, this is a new season, new year. Musselman last year three and seven on the season, and now they're already going inside. Concerned about some potential rain here, so uh, that could be the reason why. But I'll tell you this, Spencer: this is a Musselman team that I think is definitely hungry to prove themselves. Uh, after last year didn't go their way, you know, had a down year. Uh, for Musselman, you know, didn't have a winning record, which is not something they're used to, used to being a top team in the state. And that didn't happen last year. A lot of that had to do with injuries. But I think this year's Musselman team has to be uh, hungry for more and, and wanting to achieve a lot this year. Yeah, I wouldn't be surprised if the expectation is to get back to what they had there with a winning program, uh, non-losing records for I believe it was seven or eight years before this past season. This team's really hungry. A couple seniors on the team, only 10 in total. So we'll have to wait and see how they look. And they'll start with a very tough test at the beginning of the season on the road against Spring Mills and then Martinsburg, Jefferson. Yeah, well, and after that, schedule. I was going to get to Sharando, yeah. but all being on the road is the yeah. part that I wanted to mention before you broke down the entire schedule, Spencer. Yeah, so you said those first four games on the road, 8-26, they open the season at Spring Mills, 9, the, September 2nd, they are at Martinsburg, September 9th at Jefferson, September 16th at Sharando in Virginia, the 23rd of September, hosting Morgantown, the 7th of October, they are hosting Hedgesville, and this 14th of October at Wheeling Park, hosting Washington on 1021 and Bridgeport on 1028, and closing out the season at Parkersburg. And you know, we always talk to Coach Brian Thomas. He wants to put together a competitive schedule, and this year kind of mirrors last year's schedule. Yeah, it's a tough schedule, but, I mean, you want to be one of the best teams in the state. You want to potentially compete for a state championship. You're going to have to go through these teams uh, toward the end of the year if you do, in fact, make the state playoffs. And also, it, it's a schedule that's the same as last year, except the uh, locations are flipped. So you've been through it before, and now that you have that experience against these uh, quality teams in the state of West Virginia, you can kind of take that experience, and we'll see if it carries over into a successful season for Musselman. I'm pretty high on them. I think they'll have a great year uh, with all that's coming back if they're able to stay healthy. Um, but you never know, and, and it is a tough schedule. So... It's kind of a season that you could see going really well for Musselman, but because of their opponents, maybe it doesn't go their way. Uh, but this is definitely a team that I think is disappointed with last season and wants to get back to that top level in the state of West Virginia. I have high expectations for this team as well, specifically in the quarterback and wide receiver spots for Baden Hartman, as well as Ray Adamas, who we'll hear from here shortly at uh, the practice field here behind Waldeck Field at Musselman High School. But those two guys we think that can definitely be uh, one of the best combos quarterback wide receiver wise in the entire state and definitely in the EPAC. So it'll be tough on those two guys to really get things back to how it should be after Baden Hartman was injured last year and that resulted in Ray Adamas have to uh, go from the wide receiver spot to the quarterback spot during last year's season. Yeah, and he, he uh, talked to us later. You'll hear it. it. It was definitely something that was a hard transition for him, but he was able to do so. And, you know, going up and down this roster from last year that you have and, you know, seeing who's most likely going to be back, haven't seen a, a, a roster for this year yet, obviously just a week and a couple of days into training camp here. Uh, but a lot of multi-sport guys, you know, you talk about – um, Baden Hartman being one of them plays baseball and you know we talked to him about how he had to deal with you know summer workouts for football while playing summer baseball and just the way an athlete works when you're a multi-tool multi-sport athlete I mean it's definitely I think good to have multi-sport athletes on your team uh, college coaches typically look for those kind of guys because you, know, you can use different skill sets that you learn from the other sports and implement them onto the football field. So definitely uh, something you want on your team, and it keeps guys active throughout the year. 
Yeah, and this Musselman team coming off that 3-7 and seven season before that, they were 7-1 and one in the playoffs but had to end their season due to that COVID map. Uh, they're looking to have another great season, guys. Yeah, I'm hoping. Uh, I think it would be a challenge, but I think it's possible for them to flip the record of 3-7 and seven last year and go 7-3 and three or better. I would tend to agree with Colin. I mean, I think they're going to be one of the better teams in the state and in the Apex this year. So uh, while it is a challenging season and a challenging schedule, uh, they have the talent coming back, and they have the history and the coaching staff that I think can uh, get this team back to where they were uh, before last season. All right, we'll step aside for a break. On the other side of that break, we'll hear from head coach Brian Thomas here on EPAC All Access. I'm Spencer Dupuy, joined alongside Colin McLaughlin and Nick Verzley, and we'll be back soon. Looking for some nightlife? Then look no further. Laddie's Bar & Grill has a full bar and kitchen, pool table, and entertainment with great food at affordable prices. You can dine in or carry out by calling us at 304-263-5233. Laddie's is open Monday through Saturdays from 8 a.m. to 3 a.m. and Sundays from 10 a.m. to 3 a.m. We serve breakfast all day long, and our lunch and dinner specials are posted every day on our Facebook page. So stop on in to Laddie's Bar & Grill, located at 107 Lutz Avenue in Martinsburg. Welcome out to Musselman High School here for EPAC All Access. Spencer Puy and Colin McLaughlin. We're joined by the Musselman Appleman head coach, Brian Thomas. And coach, here a week into camp, getting ready for the season. And uh, not a great season for you all last year. A lot of injuries, but a lot of people are back. And it uh, seems like you guys are ready to go this year. Yeah, we're, uh, we've are we had a really good off season. Uh, you know, just a lot of commitment from the kids. Uh, you know, a lot of coming together as a team to really really kind of working the togetherness with these guys trying to get on the same page trying to get them all together which you know they've came together really good and it's kind of everything that we've done in the winter kind of carried over into the spring we had a good summer and now the camp started we're starting to have a good camp a lot of young guys came out for camp here this year how is the uh, program looking as a whole in total yeah i feel really good about our roster you know we, we kind of have a unique mix because you have a you have a really good group of seniors, um, not a big group of seniors. We only have 10 seniors out, but, um, you know, as far as the quality of those kids, they're really big pieces of what we're doing. Uh, you know, we have some juniors that, that are out that are returning starters from last year. And then we have a really good sophomore group that was our freshman football team from last year that kind of came up and they're playing a little bit. You know, even down to our freshman level, we have a lot of good ninth graders. Um, you know, so so from the top to the bottom on the whole, you know, when you're looking at, and you know, I know we're talking about varsity mostly today, but, you know, even our JV and our freshman program, we have really good numbers. Uh, we have really good quality, so I feel good about that. And when you look at your schedule this year, uh, same as last year, obviously just flip, but, uh, you know, as a team, I remember you mentioned last year you like to challenge your team, and uh, it's going to be a challenging schedule even outside of the EPAC. Yeah, I mean, I think, I think we have one. We easily have one of the toughest schedules in the state. Um, you know, if it's not the toughest, you know, I definitely think it's it's top two, top three, uh, toughest schedule in the state. You know, our, our EPAC, I've said it for years, uh, our conference can play with anybody. You know, we, we play really good football. Um, you know, everybody, shoot, I don't want to go down through the list now because I'm afraid I'll miss somebody. But, you know, everybody, you know, our Berkeley County teams and the Jefferson County teams as well, um, every coach uh, does a really good job. We play a good brand of football up here um, in the Eastern Panhandle. But, you know, then you get outside of the conference and you got Sharando, Virginia, who's a, a Virginia powerhouse. Uh, every year in and year out. Uh, Morgantown's one of the top programs in the state. Wheeling Park's one of the top programs in the state. Parkersburg, Bridgeport. I mean, they're all they're all um, potential top ten teams. So, um, you know, we, we, we're going to have some work to do, but this, at the same time, I think, you know, playing the quality makes you a better football team. And speaking on the schedule again, you guys start off the year with four straight road games. How big of a challenge is that already looking at it? Yeah, I mean, you know, you, me personally, I like home games just because, you know, you kind of get the, the, the comfortability level of being at your own place and kind of going through that routine, you know. But at the same time, um, you know, playing at Spring Mills or at Martinsburg, you know, it's not like you got to travel hours and hours down the road. So, uh, you know, we play Spring Mills, play Jefferson, we play Martinsburg, we play Sharando. Those are our first four games, like you mentioned. They're not – none of those are far games. So, you know, it, to me it doesn't matter if we play at home. It doesn't really matter if we play there. Um, you know, every field the same dimensions, the same size. We're going to line up and play the same type of football. We just got to execute. And, and when you, you know, look at the teams in the EPAC, obviously a lot of other teams have a lot coming back. But when you look at your team on paper, when you bring Hartman back after that injury last year and you have Ray, you know, what could be one of the best quarterback receiver duos this year in the EPAC, what is, what was, what is your outlook for your team this year? I mean, 
we expect to be back in the playoffs. You know, we, we expect to be one of the top teams in the state. You know, we had that we had such a good run there for about five. I think we had a five year run. We were top five in the state for, I, I, I believe, five consecutive years. So, you know, we you know, the expectations are high. Um, you know, I, I, th I think we have the talent. We have the depth to win a state championship. I've thought that for years. So, you know, I, I'm, I'm the type of competitive person that everything that I do, I feel like I'm going to win. Um, and I try to instill that in the, the kids that we have, uh, the players that we have. So, you know, we, we you know, ultimately, you know, you, you want to, you want, you don't want to get in the coach's cliche and say, yeah, you know, just one game at a time, you know, long, you know, which is true, but, you know, at the same time, I want to get back into the playoffs and, you know, we, we want to be playing football into late November. Here after you, we get to talk with uh, Ray Adamas as well as uh, Baden Hartman. Uh, just speak on their leadership. Yeah, um, you know, two two different types of players. Um, you know, both both outstanding players. You know, Baden Baden's kind of the, the the captain, the leader of everything we do. You know, he's kind of got the the keys to the castle, so to speak. You know, he he's our man. Um, you know, trust him everything he does. You know, Baden's developed um, a little bit more of a vocal role this year, where you know he, he's able to speak out, and you know it's it's really his football team. Um, you know, being the quarterback of what we do. So you know, a lot of faith in Baden. Um, you know, Ray Ray's not as vocal as Baden, um, as you know, on the field. But you know, the one thing that Ray's gotten a lot better at over the years, uh, he's grown up and he's matured, and his practice habits are really good. So you know, we're like you know we'll go out here and practice in a little bit, and everything that Ray does. Uh, he'll go full speed and he'll give it everything he has so you know when the young kids see those seniors kind of leading the way and setting the example it kind of just bleeds down uh, into your whole program I, I've always believed that you know I, I believe your best players should be your hardest workers and we've had that here um, and you know and those two guys Baden and Ray they kind of continue that all right coach thanks for the time we'll be back for more on EPAC all access next Hello, this is Mark Sutton of the Sutton & Janelle Law Firm. The right attorney can make all the difference in your case. That's why you should call Sutton & Janelle. We have been serving clients in West Virginia and Maryland since 1999 in the areas of family law, DUI, criminal defense, and personal injury. Sutton & Janelle works hard to obtain a favorable outcome for you at a reasonable rate with affordable payment options. Sutton & Janelle values your rights and is passionate about your success. Contact us today at suttonandjanelle.com. Welcome back to EPAC All Access here at Musselman High School. We're now joined by starting quarterback Baden Hartman. And Baden, last year for you is obviously not a great season. You were injured out for you know most of the season. What are you looking forward to here your senior season? Uh, I'm really looking forward to uh, like staying healthy this year and being in all the games and competing in them and helping my teammates win games and just pushing through. Getting to be the starting quarterback this year. For your team, the last one being your senior year, what are you looking forward to there leading? Uh, hopefully to have a winning season this year and just push my teammates, get them the ball, get them touchdowns, get them looks in the end zone, and hopefully we can have a winning season. And, uh, you know, obviously we talked to Coach Thomas, and it's just it's a culture here of winning. And last year was a down year for your team as a whole, three wins on the season. And, you know, it's not going to get any easier this year facing the same schedule. And it seems like year in and year out, EPAC competition is great competition. And then, you know, you, you get the way that Coach Thomas and this coaching staff has set up the schedule, it's going to be a very competitive one for you all. Yeah, it's our season is going to be pretty tough facing Spring Mills start and then uh, Martinsburg, Jefferson. And then we have Morgantown, I think, Sharando, And then we have uh, – Bridgeport, they're pretty tough teams. Uh, hope we can compete with them. It's all coming out for the team this year. A total of 37 freshmen for you guys. What's it been like just trying to be the leader for them and uh, keep them in the program? Uh, I just want to be a good role model to them and like make them look at me and see that I'm putting in the effort so that they can put in the effort that I'm putting in and be the best that they can be. What are some of the things that you do specifically to show that? I go hard in everything that I do and just push myself, push my teammates, and hopefully they'll do the same. And for you, you're a two-sport athlete, multi-sport athlete, playing baseball. This summer you were on the post-14 team. How was uh, the summer workouts kind of juggling two sports but knowing that this year for Musselman you really want to go all out for football? Uh, it was it was pretty tough at the start because going from football practice straight to baseball in the evening, having games, and then – coming back in the mornings it was just tough and have a good uh like work schedule and just push through it 
we mentioned in the last segment with your uh, coach and Brian Thomas that uh, the connection between you and uh, Ray Adamas, who we'll speak to next, could be one of the best in the entire state. What's that uh, connection like for you guys so far? Uh, it's a pretty good connection, I think. So just keep giving him the rock, and hopefully he'll make the plays, and hopefully he trusts me and I trust him to make the plays. And you, your senior season, it's your last year. What is your mentality going into the season? Uh, probably just to win the games and then just push everyone, push my teammates to win and have a good season. Being the uh, senior, as we already said, how do you want to be remembered here at Musselman? To have a winning season, not be a losing senior year. All right. Thanks for the time, Baden. And we'll be back for more EPAC All Access next. The Palace Lounge in Martinsburg has a brand new list of daily specials. Monday, stop on in for burger night or enjoy a nice juicy steak every Tuesday and Wednesday. The Palace Lounge also offers freshly steamed shrimp Thursdays and chef specials every Friday and Saturday. Sunday is all day breakfast and there are drink specials daily too. So come enjoy the Palace Lounge. You can find them on Facebook or call 304-267-7520. The Palace Lounge is located at 1350 Edwin Miller Boulevard. Welcome back to EPAC All Access. Spencer Boy Colin McLaughlin here with Ray Adamas, senior wide receiver for the Musselman Appleman. And last year you had a, an amazing season. And, you know, your team, though, didn't have a great season overall. But now you're getting Baden Hartman back after being injured last year. What is your expectations for the season? Well, uh, I think we will be very good because we have Baden back. Our, our O-line being good right now. We just have, like, weapons. We have a lot of weapons. So I think we go come back harder. Last year uh, with Baden, a couple other injuries there in the quarterback spot. You eventually got put in that quarterback spot. What was that like last season for you having to do that transition? Yeah, it was a little hard because this was my first year playing quarterback, but I had to try to help the team out. And then it was, I just tried to help, uh, help the quarterback or like the team out and like I had to do my best. All right, I know Baden's looking over there, but we'll keep it between us. Who has the stronger arm, you or him? Me. <laughs> <laughs> and when you talk I about, expected that answer. <laughs> when you talk about being kind of forced into that quarterback role to be able to continue the season last year, what kind of things did that do for your team and, and for you mentally knowing, hey, I can not just do this, I can also do that, and, and I can be more of a multi-tool player? Uh, it, was, it was a little hard on me because I had it like, Learn a whole new like spot. Had to learn all the plays. Had to know what I was doing. Get my team right. Had to be a leader, cause they look up to me. What's your goals for this season? Get a uh, make it to a playoff and a winning record. And you know we talked we touched on it with both Baden and Coach Thomas that uh, you and Baden could be you know one of the best wide receiver quarterback threats in the in the whole state. What do you what would you say to that? I think we are, because we've been working since we was little, freshman years. We've been with each other all year. We mentioned that you guys get the start on the road, four straight games this season. Uh, just looking at those, the first three against EPAC teams, what are you hoping to do within those first couple games? We go, go out, try our hardest, win. But it's going to be a really hard one because it's their, their home stadium. What's your favorite thing about football? Just scoring touchdowns. <laughs> scoring <laughs> touchdowns. All right. That was Ray Adamas, and thanks for the time. We'll be back for more on Camp EPAC All Access next. If you're in an accident, the first thing that you have to do is call 911. You have to get medical care immediately. The next thing you need to do is call us. When you hire us at the Skinner Law Firm, what we do is we are going to investigate your case, and we're going to lay out the options that you have all at no cost to you. We will use all of our resources and all of our experience to get you what you deserve. The Skinner Law Firm, SkinnerFirm.com. Start, yep, start right there, okay? Ride it out like you're reading and I'll be your number two guy, okay? Bam, go, score, 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 good. Good, 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 good. Hop it back, reload, hop back and reload. Good, you're getting a lot better at this. Getting a lot better at this. We're gonna have a lot small, medium, large today. Good, go, attack, 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 good. Sorry, man, I punched you in the gut. I punched you hard right there. I, didn't, I swear I didn't mean to do that. I was trying to tie your hip. 
Good, attack, 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 attack. You gotta get wider. Think about where the line's in. I know I don't have a line split right now. Think about where that line is. Your tackle's sitting. Tackle's sitting right there, so you gotta get around that tackle. Attack, 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 good. Stop him, good. Pitch, good. Good, 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 good. There you go. Yeah, there you go. Technically, your tackle would be right here. Yep. We're good. Good, attack, 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 attack. Boom, he stops you. Good, pitch off that. Good. Good, 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 good. Hey, let's go a couple. Let's go a couple left side. Scoot that way a little bit so we don't run into them. Same thing, tackles right there. Good, attack, 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 good. Attack, score, attack, score, attack, score. Good, let's go here, Baden. Boom, attack, 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 good. You see shoulders, good. Good, 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 guys, good rap, good rap, good rap, good rap. Good, attack, 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 good. He don't stop you, good. He hasn't committed to you, go with that. Good, attack, 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 boom. There he goes, stops you, good. Step into that thing, make that thing. We're gonna work that back shoulder stuff a little bit, like that, that we've been working, okay, just kind of the same drill. I just want you to get used to, you don't have to lead this guy too much. Are you putting it in the pocket, or are you throwing that on that rope like that, like we've been working, okay? So, Baden, you go ahead and hop up over there. No, you're okay, we're fine, we're fine, we're fine. Just kind of walk, walk, walk. Boom, boom, put that on the line. Good, put it on the line, that's okay. Do the same thing. Yeah, do the same thing. I'll tell you what to do. It's okay. Good. Yeah, put it over shoulder. Good. Put it over shoulder. Good. Just lean on the outside. Same thing back. Good. Come on, man. He's trailing. Read that. Read that corner shoulders. Good. Good. See where he's sitting at. See where he's sitting at. Good, good, area, good, good area, good area, good width. Good job, boy. Good, read your shoulders. Read your shoulders. That's all right. That's all right. I know we're not going full speed. That's where you got it. That's, that's the area. Good, you're good. You're good. You're good. Hey, still red? Good, read his shoulders. Good, put it in the hole. Good, 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 good. Not bad. Good, not bad. Good, good miss, good miss, good miss, good miss. Good. Good, read, 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 good, read, attack, 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 good. Good, good, Logan. Good, Logan. Good, come on, game reps. Game reps, game reps, game reps, game reps, game reps. We're sitting at zero sprints still. Sitting at zero sprints right now. Good game reps, game reps, game reps, good. Good, good hustle, Ray. We're sitting at zero sprints. I want to keep it there. Keep it there. Keep it there. Good attack, good. Yeah, pitch off that, good. Good, 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 good. Just try to lead him a step, I know. Good step, slow, explode. Good, don't, good, good. Three yards. That's all you need, three yards, three yards. And then you make that step and cut, everything else is a bonus, man. Aaron, don't step off the line. We're not running bench. Stop bench. Good, good path, good path, good. Get vertical, get vertical, get vertical, get vertical. Good, good steps. Get your eyes right, Zach. Get your eyes right, good. Hey, elephant, elephant, elephant. Good, come on, game reps. Game reps, game reps, game reps, good. Good, low pad level, low pad level. That backer's gonna be here where that's our get. There you go, there you go. Good, I'm that backer, I'm that backer. Boom, he washes this. Ah, Peyton, Peyton, Peyton. I'm not bad yet, we're making that cut off that, okay? In and out. There we go, there we go, there we go, there we go, there we go.
Zero sprints. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Aaron, 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 go down there. Aaron Jenkins. Oh, he's already down there, cool. Okay. Boom, good, good, make that cut off that. There you go, good, 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 good. Attack, 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 attack. Good, about good. Put up with your water long enough. It's time for Sunset Water Services, your local water solution since 1989, to fix your water problems. Get better tasting, better smelling, and better looking water today. Say hello to drinking your own delicious water for pennies per gallon. Say yes to healthier skin and hair and to softer and brighter clothes. Sunset Water Services delivers your bags of salt to you, so they'll save your back too. And our products come with a one-year satisfaction guarantee. Call 304-754-9031 for a free water quality test today. Sunsetwater.com. Hear from every EPAC coach every week on the Sports Mix this fall. They really showed that they have a lot of grit. They can play with just about anybody. That's the culture that we've been building here at Washington High. You know, our senior leadership stepped up and said it's playoffs or bust for us. Pretty much the same thing we've been saying since day one. Stay humble, stay hungry. They never solidify some things. I really think the key for our team is ball control. They do some things that if we're not ready, they'll be the team that's sitting there at 500 at the end of the night. The Sports Mix, weekdays from 12 to 1 and re-aired from 5 to 6. Welcome back to EPAC All Access here. We're going to wrap things up on this first edition of EPAC All Access. Spencer, we call him McLaughlin, Nick Verzellini. Happy to have you with us live outside of Waldeck Field here at Musselman High School as we were able to see the Appleman practice today and uh, get ready for their 2022 season. Uh, coming off that 3-7 and seven season last year, injury-riddled season, and uh, the year before that making it to the playoffs. But before that, they you know had five or six years of pretty dominant football here in the EPAC where they've made, been able to make the playoffs, and, and they're looking to get back there this year, guys. Definitely, and I think even though we didn't get to see a lot today uh, due to the lightning that they've had in the area, and we'll see if they come back out and, and finish practice, uh, this is a Musselman program that has had a ton of success in recent years, just had a down year last year. So I think uh, they'll – hopefully be able to bounce back. I mean, the injury bug was insane last year. It wasn't just like a few star players. It was like not only your first string guys, but a lot of your second string guys as well getting hurt. And at times they couldn't even go 11-on-11 11 11 at practice. So I think this team is bound to be more healthy this year. It's just bound to be an easier year in terms of just getting through practices even for Musselman. So I think they'll have a successful year. Uh, you know, Coach Brian Thomas has had a ton of success as a head coach. I think he brings a good mentality to this team and um, you know, he's a good leader for them and I think they got talented players coming back so I'm, I have high expectations for Musselman as I said earlier in the program and uh, you know, excited based on what we saw today even though it was briefly I think they got a lot of uh, talent on this team. Yeah they have that win now mentality and that's what you want to have if you're a team at any level in any sport and you heard from Baden Hartman they don't want to be remembered as the senior class that were losers after having a losing season last year the year before that it wasn't a losing season but they still went out due to the color map and now it's their senior season the thing that they want to be remembered by is going out back on top and being one of the best teams in the state and I think they have that capability yeah they definitely do and uh, we'll go over the schedule one more time they start the season away at Spring Mills and they're away at Martinsburg on September 2nd September 9th at Jefferson 916 at Sharando in Virginia. They got two home games in a row with a bye in between on 923. They're facing Morgantown right here at Waldeck Field. And then October 7th, Hedgesville. Then they're at Wheeling Park on October 14th. October 21st and 28th, they're at home against Washington and Bridgeport, respectively, and end out the season on 11 4 at Parkersburg. So it'll be a great season, and uh, we'll keep up with Coach Brian Thomas all season long every week on the Sports Mix. We'll hear from him during the week. Uh, leading up to each game and even during their bye week. Uh, but we'll wrap things up on this first edition here of EPAC All Access. want to thank the Musselman coaching staff, Brian Thomas, uh, especially Brian Thomas for doing that mic'd up segment with us. And I uh, want to thank Baden Hartman and Rhea Thomas for talking to us as uh, Musselman gets ready for another great season for our crew. Donald Kinney, Dylan Bishop, Nick Verzellini, Colin McLaughlin, I'm Spencer Puy saying so long. Stay tuned for more EPAC All Access next. <laughs>